The Haunted Lift Ron worked as a marketing head for a major multinational company. Apart from having a generous salary, his work involved a lot of travel. He used to spend more time in hotel rooms than his own home. One night, he was returning home after a very important client meeting. The weather was very rough, and suddenly it started to rain. It had become impossible for Ron's driver to drive any further. He was barely able to see anything ahead. Not knowing what to do, he asked his driver to stop at the nearest hotel. That hotel looked very old, but that was the only one available on that highway. Ron didn't overthink and went inside. He thought that he'd spend the night in that hotel and leave first thing in the morning once the weather gets a little better. The moment he entered the hotel, he saw a female receptionist. There was something off about her. It seemed as if she hadn't slept for days. But Ron just overlooked this fact, as he was very tired, and all he wanted to do was crash on a bed and sleep. So he quickly went to the reception and requested a room. The girl asked for an identity proof and gave him the keys to room 303. He went towards the lift, pressed the button, and waited for it to come down. Once the lift arrived, he went inside and pressed the third floor button. The moment the lift's door closed, it stopped and opened once again, as if someone had pressed the button from outside. Ron found it weird, but seeing the poor condition of the lift, he ignored it and pressed the button once again. The lift's door closed, and while it started moving up, Ron's gaze went to the floor buttons. Right in front of his eyes, the light on the third floor button went out, and the fifth floor button lit up on its own. This startled Ron. He quickly started pressing the third floor button, but none of the buttons on the lift worked. Ron felt very weird, and while he struggled with the buttons, he felt that someone stood right behind him, breathing close to his neck. Ron immediately turned, but didn't find anyone. He was getting very anxious now. The lift had reached the fourth floor. His heartbeat was pounding when the small light in the lift also went out. The lift stopped there itself and Ron helplessly started banging the lift's door. Help me! Help me! Is somebody there? Somebody please help me! He was screaming when suddenly a hand came over his mouth in the dark which silenced him and a loud voice echoed in his right ear. Shh. Ron's condition worsened and he started losing consciousness but the light came back a few moments later. Still, Ron couldn't find anyone else apart from him. But now, he was very sure that there was someone in there along with him. The lift then stopped at the fifth floor, and as soon as the door opened, Ron ran towards the staircase. Ron was so scared that words didn't come out of his mouth anymore. He still felt as if he was being followed by someone on the stairs. While he was running down on the staircase, he heard someone's <laughs> vicious laughter echo in his ears. Ron somehow managed to reach the reception and gasped and started telling the reception, Lift! Fifth floor! That! That man! The receptionist gave Ron some water and Ron narrated the entire incident to her. The receptionist then told Ron something that blew his mind. She said, Sir, fifth floor, but our hotel only has four floors. Ron went numb after hearing this. He wasn't able to express how he felt. Ron got out of the hotel in a panic and ran towards his car. His driver was lying in the car itself. He asked the driver to quickly start the car, and seeing his condition, the driver hurried as well and started driving away from the hotel. While they were driving away, Ron checked the rear-view mirror, and he saw the receptionist standing at the entrance, and behind her <laughs> was a huge shadow that smiled at him. Since that day, Ron has been scared of entering a lift. Also, he doesn't even travel late at night anymore. He sometimes has nightmares of being trapped in a lift that is taking him to a place that doesn't exist in reality and that he would never be able to leave that place. Are you also scared to enter a lift alone? And are you aware of the lift ritual, also known as the elevator game? that takes a person to a different world? If you don't know about it, then click on the I 
button and watch our video on the elevator game in which we have explained in detail about it. And don't forget to subscribe to Bloody Monday for chilling horror stories every week.